hi guys how are you i hope you are doing well today we discuss the maritime attorney in houston tx fighting to get you the compensation you deserve after an offshore accident houston galveston and gulf coast admiralty and maritime lawyer seamen and offshore workers put themselves at risk every day of suffering a serious injury at work There are many dangers present while working on offshore vessels such as fires and explosions gas leaks heavy objects falling and extreme weather conditions maritime law serves to protect workers at sea and ensure that in the event of an injury they are afforded sufficient compensation to cover the costs of maintenance and cure Understanding maritime law can often be complex and many workers are unsure under which maritime law act they should file an injury claim. We have seen many workers accept compensation claims from their employers that did not adequately cover their injury costs and which they were not able to change at a later date. As such, it is extremely important that you speak with an experienced offshore accident lawyers as soon as possible if you have been injured offshore at abraham watkins we have a team of maritime attorneys that can help you at every stage of your case we know how difficult and stressful it can be to be injured at work and have to worry about paying for all of your costs Because of this we want to help you file a claim under maritime law to get compensated for your injuries and ensure that your rights are protected. What is maritime law? Maritime law sometimes called admiralty law is a set of laws that applies to maritime workers, employers and bodies working on the high seas. Generally the laws govern all maritime accidents and events that occur on the high seas such as oil platform accidents dredge accidents and cargo ship accidents the high seas refers to water beyond the territorial waters of a country or state maritime law also applies to territorial water that is within 12 miles of the shore maritime law functions as one of the oldest set of law in the country and as such it experienced constant change traditionally maritime law only applied to accidents and events that occurred on the high seas however it now applies to all navigable waters in the united states dividing navigable waters under the law can sometimes be confusing and most of the law that we use today is based on previous cases attempting to offer a clearer definition currently navigable water is defined as water that can act as a continued highway over which commerce is or may be carried on with other states or foreign countries so if a body of water in a state or commerce with an other state or a foreign country it is governed by maritime law bodies of water that are part of greater navigable water will also be governed by maritime law even if they do not directly connect to an other state or country as such a body of water that is closed up by a large piece of land or land locked will be governed by state law rather than federal maritime law